Have you ever heard of PCOS? Yes, PCOS. Now, of the many things that commonly affect women in their reproductive stages, PCOS is one of them. Maybe as common as fibroids, but I'm not so sure. But PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, is something that affects women more commonly than we even think. Now, what is PCOS? PCOS is a condition where the females or the women in their reproductive stages begin to produce more androgens than normal now we all know androgen is the hormone that is predominant in the males while estrogen is the one in females but in pcos for some reason the adrenal gland and also the ovaries begin to produce higher levels of androgen than the usual estrogen and in conditions like this they are also sized now sized i mean um small small like um fluid fluid sacs in the ovaries now these are what i call cysts or cysts forgive my pronunciation but this um adrenal gland then begins to produce higher levels of androgen now when you hear androgen you think of masculinity now um it's not that there are no androgens in the feminine gender but in this condition the androgens begin to be projected very high levels now because of that what can we see we see things like facial hair that's the manifestation of pcos and hair also in very very abnormal regions like the back the buttocks the chest things like that we also see deepening voice masculine voice we also see things like weight gain in very very abnormal um, abnormal ways you begin to gain weight in a way you did not even you did not even think was possible or you don't even understand we also see things like acne on the skin due to excess deposition of oils in the face we also see things like um um um, um uh bowing of the hair just like in the men and various other things um we see pains also in the abdominal region now things like this are manifestations of polycystic ovary syndrome now it's more common than you think i'm saying this clearly because women sometimes they don't know what is going on around them also in pcos you can see conditions like sparse or irregular menstruation or abnormal menstruation now this is why it happens um ovulation becomes a problem now since ovulation is a problem because of the higher level of androgens what causes ovulation one of the things that causes ovulation is the estrogen but now estrogen levels have dropped so much and androgen levels are projected so ovulation becomes a problem and so menstruation becomes a problem also and also pregnancy becomes a problem in a situation like this so in these conditions when you see all these things you should begin to think towards pcos now how can you detect pcos now women since their bodies are very complex it is necessary especially women in the reproductive stages to go for ultrasound scans because ultrasound scan can actually pick this up very early now ultrasound scan can pick this up they can show you um the scan can show you how your ovaries are and the, the doctors or whoever can begin to manage it at an early stage all right now the cause for this is unknown right it's linked to the genetic makeup of the individual so things like this we don't really know what causes but it can be managed it is treatable and it can be managed even though it cannot be cured completely now with hormone therapy and a lot of other stuff it can be managed but a way to avoid it or to play it down is by eating nutritious food yes and being regular with your exercise now there is nothing the exercise doesn't do for the body there's nothing exercise doesn't do for the body so when you exercise more frequently your chances of um of exhibiting all these symptoms or signs of pcos are slimmer but it doesn't mean your pcos has been cured it just helps you manage it more properly so when you begin to see signs like this your menstruation is no longer as regular as it used to be or you are missing your period so much even without sexual activities, you begin to think in the line of PCOS, um, facial hairs or hairs in abnormal regions, your voice thickening, um, um, fat that you cannot explain, things like this, you think towards PCOS. So I'm saying this so you could monitor your health more properly, alright? Visit your doctor if you begin to see changes like this, your gynecologist will tell you what to do next. Thank you very much. Also know that PCOS doesn't mean you cannot give birth. Yes, you can also become pregnant even with PCOS, 
but it's just that it's more difficult to get pregnant in PCOS because your ovaries are compromised. There are cysts in your ovaries and they are producing more androgen than normal. But even with PCOS, when your hormone levels have been managed by your doctor, you can actually give birth, all right? Thank you very much. Take care of yourself more properly. Till we meet again next time. Have a nice day. Thank you.